new product for the turntable. Let's see what it does. All right, hey VC, this is Jeff here. So yes, uh, the other day I had to buy some stuff for uh, some cleaning solution, uh, for the dusting solution for my turntable for the records. And I noticed this, you know, one of those, uh, you know, people who bought this also bought this. And so I did a little research and looked at some uh, videos and stuff for this uh, Hudson Hi-Fi, the anti-static dust brush. Have you ever seen one of these? Anybody out there use one of these? I've seen some oddities on some people's turntables that might have been something like this. I always wonder because it's like a second tone arm. But anyway, after looking at the uh, various things online that I could find on this, it's a little duster. It's like another tone arm. You put it on your album, on the turntable, and then you put the duster part on, on the, uh, see the little duster there? On the record, and then you start your record and put the needle on as usual. And it follows along. So it's kind of like before the groove hits the stylus, the brush is brushing it. And it's not only taking what little dust it can get off of there, but it's also doing some anti-static work. So, you know, it was not an expensive piece of hardware. So I want to go ahead and give it a shot. So let's get this installed. The only thing I'm concerned about is there is a uh, ground wire on here for taking the anti-static off and I kind of looked at my turntable and I'm not seeing where I can connect that immediately so I'm gonna have to look into that a little more so but as you can see here it's like a little tone arm that balances it's got a counterweight and everything and then it's got this brush on the end that just kind of rides along the grooves of the record so anyway let's get it over to the turntable itself we have a mounting bracket that's just basically got some adhesive on it and you mount that onto the turntable and then you mount that little arm on there and from there it will clean ahead of the stylus anyway let's move over to the turntable and get this thing installed and see what happens so essentially i mean here are the four pieces this is the mount that goes on the that holds it on this is the adjustment arm that you put on there that balances this brush arm and then this is the wire that is the ground wire that connects into a little hole here and then the little wire goes and connects to uh, usually a preamp ground or something along that line i'll find something to stick that in but essentially you want to place this somewhere you know around here where you're able to grab the tone arm and put it on the record with ease it won't the the, the cover will still close um you could put it on the front end here, but that'd be kind of in the way. Seems like the ideal place would be somewhere around here that you could place it, but that's going to be against a groove. So even though the little tone arms on the back end, looks like the, the best placement is going to be here, and then it'll rest right there, and it'll balance right here, and go right on the record when it goes on. So I am going to give this a little clean, and then probably place that right there. One thing you want to make sure... There is a hole on here for the ground. It's on the little back side here. There's a little hole you can see. You want to make sure that that's facing in such a way that the wire, when it sticks out, is not going to hit anything. So I'm going to face it towards the back of the unit because the wire can go right down between. See, when you when you close this, there is a there's an area here where the wire can go through without getting where the bracket is. So it's, it would go right through the outside into that hole. So... I am probably gonna place it that way. So for now, let me, I'm gonna get a quick clean and clean off the surface here, pull off the adhesive and mount that. Now then, I've pulled the little adhesive off and I have mounted this to the back there. And as you can see, the wire is able to go out the back end there so that when I close this, can't really tell from here, but it closes, it allows it to go right into this gap here between there. There's a little gap there. Now, we insert, and this can be adjusted for height by going up and down and tightening the screw. We place the balance arm on there. There's a little hole that that goes into. And then the goal here is to have this parallel to the album. As you can see, maybe, it's a little off. 
So I'm going to raise it up a little higher and make it a little more parallel. Okay, now that looks a little more parallel. This is not the best lighting here, but so as you can see, and then this needs to be balanced to where it's, you know, it's got a little bit of weight on it. You can adjust the weight like a counterweight back and forth. I'm going to leave it there. There are some other adjustments here, but I'm going to leave it there for now. So let's uh, let's get a record and check this out. All right, and so what this does is you go ahead and mount this on the album, and it will run with the tracks and move inward as a regular uh, stylus does. And then you go ahead and you start the record. And then you go ahead and put your tone arm on. And it pre-cleans as it goes around the tone arm. Turn it down so it's not to get any kind of copyright strike. But like a stylus, and then now it's cleaning before it gets to the needle, and it will rotate in on its own as a regular needle. And it's taking out the static and the dust to keep the record clean. So interesting. Neat little inexpensive tool that's easy to hook up, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. All right, what's a little bit more here to keep it cleaner, so. So while I'm by no means an audiophile in the sense that, you know, uh, I'm gonna have a super expensive stereo and equipment, you know, it's like for, you know, $20, $25, get a little accessory like this. I mean, it doesn't, I don't see how it can harm. It's basically cleaning the record as you play it, so. Yeah, anyway, check it out if you want. I got this from Amazon and, you know, the Hudson Hi-Fi anti-static dust brush. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share a little installation there of that. And I will see you later. Rock on and rock hard.